Friends and fellow enthusiasts, now let's delve into the world of Circuitverse, which is an open source educational tool for designing and visualizing logical circuit simulations in the cloud with our speaker, Pavan Sanjay Joshi. He's an aspiring computer science engineer and an open source enthusiast. So fasten your seat belts as we get into this enlightening journey of exploring the world of Circuitverse. Can we have a big round of applause, please? So, hello everyone. Hi and good morning. I firstly really appreciate being here. My name is Pawan Joshi. I work at Circuitverse as a core team member. By day, I'm a software engineer at GetLB. It's one of the blockchain firm based in the United States. And today, we will be primarily exploring Circuitverse and its digital alchemy. So, before going with the session, I just have a question for you. How many of you have been heard of Circuitverse or even given it a try? Whoa, 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 nice, nice. And how many of you have backgrounds from digital logic design kind of thing, designing hardware circuitries and all kind of cool stuffs out there, even an electronics education? Nice, nice. That's fantastic to see some of the hands raised. You are already in the treat. And for those who don't know about Circuitverse, let's explore it. So before going with the question of what Circuitverse is, uh, and before introducing this product, I'm going to explain why Circuitverse at the first place. Basically, in the world of technology, we have two vital parts, hardware and software. Everyone knows that. They are like dynamic duo of the innovation. I personally call them yin and yang of the innovation. Can Cause, cause we can't compromise even a single of them. We need both of them working hand in hand to shape the digital world that we see today. All kind of computers, all kind of devices, devices that you carry in your pockets, the camera that recording my session, the display behind me, all kind are based on the circuitry which needs to be designed. And we take guys design it. And digital logic design is often a very fundamental topic to computer science and electronic education. So coming to the point, the systems, uh, designing such systems and complex cir circuitry behind it is often a daunting task because it's much more complex. Uh, basically, you might have to set your own physical hardware lab, buy equipment for it, which requires a cost as well. As a beginner, you are always underconfident to explore such complex fields, and there is a lack of knowledge, lack of resources, and hardware components are often delicate to handle, and there is a risk of damage as well. So, Circuitverse was built to offer the solution that brings best of the both worlds, hardware and software. With Circuitverse, you can make system designs, complex circuit designs, experimentation and innovation a visible and a viable option for almost everyone. Beginners, educators, students, and almost. Basically, Circuitverse provides a web interface where you can simulate all kinds of circuits and do much more of a cool stuff out there. The main motive of Circuitverse was to make that particular learning curve less intimidating and expand all kind of possibilities exponentially. The main motive was to just remove all kind of resi resistance that beginners feel uh, when delving into this particular field. And yes, that's kind of an hello from the circuit was. Circuit was was inspired from the Logisim. It's a desktop app and it's a great app actually. How many of you have used Logisim for circuit designing? Cool. Then why circuit was? Because with circuit was, it's completely web based. Uh, you don't need any kind of downloads, no additional dependencies, and it's operating system independent at, as well. It works on Mac, Linux, and Windows as well. Basically, the only requirement is if you have a machine and it supports web browser and internet connection, you are already onboarded on the circuit was itself. Let's explore a few of the products that Circuitverse provides. The Circuitverse Simulator. It's kind of your own digital logic design playground and a digital logic design lab where you try and experiment your ideas and convert them in form of circuits. That's basically a simulated version of the circuits you see there. Let's look at the few of the features that Simulator provides. I'm not going to go with the diagram because of the time constraint, but we looked the, at them in the upcoming slides. Circuits and sub-circuits. So basically, the motive is to build all the digital simulated circuits out there. So to build that, uh, we provide Circuit was Circuit Library. 
and it's kind of simulated versions of all your hardware equipments uh, that are needed to design those particular circuits. So that's, that might look simple, but with this you can uh, build the simplest form of circuits to your own computers itself, like 4-bit computers and X-bit computers out there. Not just that, there are different other features such as annotations, you can label circuits and many cool things this particular library provides. Sub-circuits. Uh, we introduced the concept of sub-circuits. Uh, this provides much more convenience and reusability to the circuit was user. This kind of concept is create once and use everywhere. For example, I have to create a full adder from it. Uh, so I will create a half adder as a circuit and I can use that in any project everywhere in the circuit was itself. So you don't have to create everything from scratch. For example, in the full adder, I create a half adder, insert it as a sub-circuit and you create everything. Not just that, this is the simple example, but when you create complex uh, systems such as creating a computer and a circuitry behind it. So such kind of reusability is a great boon out there. Not just creation of circuits, um, circuit was provide facility to debug and test your circuits as well. Because if you build something and you are not sure and you are unable to debug and test it and you are not 100% confident that this particular thing works correctly, uh, you will be always underconfident about it. So to test and debug circuits, we provide different concepts such as timing diagrams. Timing diagrams can be used to debug and test circuits and their behavior of the circuits. For example, you can correct logical mistakes of your circuits, race conditions, and you can use this timing diagram basically to explain different phenomena such as propagation delay. Not just that, to provide one another layer of convenience, we provide user to attach their own test cases with our test bench interface. What you have to do is just, basically you can write sequential and combinational test in the circuit was test bench itself. So you create a sequential test or a combinational test cases of your, and you attach them to the circuit itself. And once attached, uh, that particular test will be run by circuit was on that particular circuit and you will get the output so that you can like cross verify the behavior of the circuit itself. Uh, circuit was, was primarily meant for educators, so we provide a lot of things for educators itself. Like to connect and collaborate on the circuit was we introduce the concept of group. In groups, basically you can create assignments, you can create uh, deadlines, you can schedule those assignments, and uh, you can share invitation links of those groups to the students of the circuit was, and they can solve it. And you can even once submitted, you can grade all kind of things are there as well. Now. Few of the foreign universities and Indian universities use their private LMS, that's uh, learning management systems, where every educator and all the students and all kind of learning store, uh, learning materials is in the, their own private software. So it is not that uh, with CircuitWorks, the students have to go from CircuitWorks to LMS and LMS to CircuitWorks. We provide integration with LMS as well. So what you have to do is when you create an assignment on the circuit was, uh, the LMS credentials will pop up. You just have to apply those credentials on the LMS system and whatever you see on the circuit was website will be available in your own software as well. So uh, you don't have to like go uh, from one place to another. Everything will be there in one place. So public integrations that we support are Moodle, Sakai and Canvas. Um, if you use private software as well as a LMS system, uh, we provide generic integration for that as well. The circuit was simulator is the main product. To provide much more convenience, uh, we provide circuit was interactive book and mobile app as well. Now, what is interactive book? If you don't have any kind of uh, knowledge regarding digital logic design and you want to explore this particular field, we have prepared a nice interactive book where you can learn uh, building small scale integrated circuits to large scale integrated circuits such as ROM. If you want to try and explore the circuitry behind how ROM works, uh, there is a chapter named Sequential LSI and Combinational LSI where we show actually how, what's the logic behind it and how you can build itself on the circuit walls.
now you don't have to open the laptop lib every time to access the circuit was itself everything that you see on the website and we discuss so far is available on the mobile app itself like interactive book is handy you can access it with the mobile app itself and uh, as a teacher you can log into your circuit was account create groups there create assignments there you can view all the circuits that are being created on the circuit was itself in the mobile app now if you create some valuable there will be always an impact so see we will be seeing some awesome projects out there literally a kid building a 4 bit computer with circuit was making youtube channels and exploring logic behind how computer works and all the circuitry behind it so this is not the beauty of the circuit was itself it's a beauty of the force like giving right tool in the right hands and you expand limitless potential of your mind regardless of the age actually so literally literally a kid uh, that's 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 the basic thing yeah building its own 4 bit computer understanding these things at that level of age there is a display behind it and someone build graphic display there is a 16 cross x display a demonstration of the circuits out there and you can see the label on top of it actually that video is not working i think uh, you can visit all the sub circuits and you can use them in your own projects as well you can click on those top labels you can fork those circuits and all those things out there someone build 16 bit computers and we are in bangalore and we know bangalore traffic and this is kind of circuitry that works behind the traffic signal lights everyone loves games uh, literally someone built tic tac toe a circuitry version of tic tac toe game out there now whatever you saw was just 0.1% of the circuit was if we talk in number there are almost 660000 circuits built till now as of 2022 and for 1.4 lakh users as an open source software which doesn't take even a single penny from you those number are huge if you consider even 100 circuits each one with a unique idea and you can explore them you can reuse them in your own projects all kind of stuff and 6.6 lakh are huge numbers actually as of 2023 we have more than 2 lakh users and number of circuit projects just crossing almost the upper bound circuit was was also used in test books uh, there is a tamil nadu boards class 12 physics test book where they create circuits on circuit was and they printed in their state boards test book not just that even foreign universities use circuit was for example university of uh, finland and university of ulu they create circuit on circuit was and they print them in their reading material for their students now this is not an uh, effort of a single person this is the community this is the circuit was community which make this possible and from this stage i really appreciate them uh, circuit was love open source and everyone does right uh, so we welcome you to join us uh, we also participate in different uh, open source events such as google summer of code google coding and on all such kind of thing we were mentoring organization for past five consecutive years for google summer of code from 2019 to 2022 so there are incentives as well so please do join us uh, please do join us and make our platform better you we, you can find us basically on the slack and we host our repository on github uh so i think um, what circuit was is clear to you the only payback i expect from this stage is just try it. just just go to the circuitwas.org and try and you create your first digital simulation and please give feedback for that that's the only thing i expect uh, from you and i i want to take from this stage actually so thank you thank you so much that was circuit was about any questions are you planning on making uh, proper schematic support so like something like keycad will you be competing with keycad or this is only for simulations no we don't compete actually but it's an evaluation like you can use for multiple version i don't know personally know about keycad but there are a lot of stuffs if example if you want to uh, yeah there is a simulation 
for example, how you compare circuit was with the KiCad and what functionality you are talking about that? So, so schematic design, can we make a main schematic in circuit? Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 that's no. not the thing, the okay. simulation thing. But yeah, definitely we can plan that because it's completely open source. We don't, there is no hiring thing behind the, it actually. We work completely open source and we have come some set of goals and we introduce different applications out there. Any, anyone else? Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your Bye. time. Have a great time in the conference, thank you.